Hi everyone, this is the Legendary Eye back again with more. This time I'm going to be doing another Beelit Burst Surge Unboxing. This is going to be for the Beelit Burst Surge Speed Storm Motor Strike Battle Set. Yeah, I forgot. I um, I got this for Christmas, so a little bit of the wrapping paper is still there. So, this is actually one of the last releases for Beelit Burst Surge. It is... It's not just called the Motor Strike Battle Set, it actually has a turntable in the middle. Where, um, it was like a spinning disc in the middle. Where the Beowiz can actually spin, the Beowiz can actually spin out of control. Depending on, um, whether you launch it in right or left spin. But yeah, that's some of the box. You could see on the side. Shows the um the three things it comes with. Well, not really three things, but some stuff it comes with. I might have to put your device upside down for this because it says um Billy Burst Surge Speed Storm and then tells you a little bit more about the product. And now we flip over the box. And now we have the stats and everything for the Beyblades. So yeah, just it's basically just like any other battle set where um where it shows you the stats. You could pause and read the stats if you want to. We're going to get into the unboxing and then I'll tell you my thoughts. So Lucius Ambringer. It looks pretty interesting. It's probably a pirate because of the eye missing. For some reason they made the eye go missing. But they did actually take away the gimmick. Which was that whenever it lost so many clicks, it was supposed to, like, this big part on the side. Like, the side design was supposed to pop down. So, like, the side of the Beyblade, the design of it would actually pop down and knock the pony off balance and then make them burst. So, yeah, that gimmick is gone. But I really do like the design of it overall. It's a little bit too much black, so I feel like they should put a little bit more gold on it, or may look a little bit closer to Takara to Takar Tommy with some stickers, so some of the tattoo designing. But they didn't do that. Use the QR code if you want to scan it. I'm trying to do a close up, but it's not really working too well. I think I'll just leave it like this. So um, the disc is called um, Vertical. Vertical originally came out on Wild Wyvern or Wyvern W2 under Hasbro. It's not really that good and it's really outclassed, but I guess it works as a replacement for, I think they called it Ko in Japanese. There was actually a disc called Ko and it worked especially for these, for the, um, for the last three Beyblades, which are part of the Limit Break system. But I guess because they don't have that system in Hasbro, it works. I'll switch out for something different, don't worry. Um, then here is the driver. I think it's called Drift. So Drift is actually okay, I guess. They removed the free spinning gimmick from it, which was probably its best asset, but it's gone now. But it still has the same, it still has the same shape, so I'm hoping it's good. Now in terms of the slopes, Lucius Ambringer. Yeah, the the slopes are just okay. They're not not too crazy. So the next Beyblade we're going over is um, Hyperion Flamebringer. Now Hyperion Flamebringer, just like the anime, basically whenever it got closer to bursting, the um the outer kind of wings would pop out and then it would just kind of burst burst open like a i guess you could call it like the sun or like a flame and just kind of show its spirit burning brightly but under hasbro they took that away too i feel like even the way it's shaped now it should be fine i just really wish the gimmicks kind of stayed there then the disc is actually called six six was i believe six was on the last one I think this was on the last one from the um from the first set of Bailey Burst Surge. So this is 
I don't know. It's it's just okay. It's not not the best. This is also our class, just like the vertical disc. So I guess that's fine too. Um, I'll replace that too. Don't worry. Um, then we have exceed. This is supposed to be exceed plus C, I think. But the problem is that um, they locked it on. They locked the little attachment on. So I think whenever I go to the store next time, I'll buy another. I'll buy another um, Evo Helios one, and then then we can um, put an attachment on, on the original XC, and then I'll replace this monstrosity. But that's about it. Um, overall, it seems like the parts are just okay. Here's a QR code if you want to scan it into the Beyblade Burst app. Okay, the, the slopes are okay. Under Takara Tommy actually had a problem with bursting easily, so I think this is a good small upgrade. There's a little um there's a little thing you're supposed to attach to the motor. And basically it'll spin right or left depending on Yeah, it spins right or left depending on the um depending on what way you put it in. So yeah and it's also really loud. So I might not talk during the segment. I might not talk during the segment because it's really loud but yeah, it works. I haven't tested it yet, but it, it seems to work pretty well. So, three, two, one, let's go! Overall, I don't know what to say about the set. I feel like you really just... I feel like if you want to get this set, you should only get it for the arena. Yeah, only buy the set for the arena and that's it. That's all I can really say. Because these Beyblades are, um, are another example of Speedstorm actually knowing... Um, this is an example of Speedstorm actually not given the right parts that would have made these Beyblades so special. And also did give the QR codes away too. So um yeah if you want to scan them they literally lost all their value. <laughs> so yeah. So these Beyblades I feel like this is just a good set for collectors. Like you could just sell the arena online and stuff if you really want to get your money back for it. But yeah overall I feel like this set is mostly for collectors and if you want to have fun with Beyblade then this is Probably it's a set for you. Um, let's say that if you're not good with loud noises, then don't get the set because that motor is really loud. But that's that's only um, it's the only bad part to find about it, other than the parts. But yeah, that's about it. Like if you want, share if you want, and subscribe to become a legend in the making. See you next time. Bye, and we are proven to be legendary. Stay legendary.